Hello everyone, Coffee Vapor Girl here. No, I'm not actually going to do the Vixen Vapors Part 2 review right now. I guess right now what I'm going to do is a little um, v-blog about, uh, well, one little rant about why this is taking so goddamn long <laughs> to finish this particular Part 2 review. Every time I have tried to finish this review, one thing or another has happened. It has been really crazy at my job. Um, I've had personal obligations to see through. Like just today, I've just actually gotten back from Philadelphia. And uh, that was an offer I couldn't pass up because I'm a huge Rocky fan and I have never been to the uh, Museum of Fine Art. And as you know, that's the Rocky Steps. Everyone goes up there and does the Rocky, you know, Pose and I, I could not pass up that opportunity. Uh, my sister-in-law, her master's degree, so it was a pretty big graduation ceremony and it was going to be in Philadelphia, so I had to go. I was going to do my review today, but you know, as I said before, one thing le has led to another to prevent me from finishing this review. And it's not that this is the best review, it's just I have been so busy and obligated to do other things that I haven't had the chance to do it. Ah, I am so exhausted. I feel a little bit tired right now. I've been, I've been walking all day. My legs are killing me. I actually got a little sunburn. Can't really see it. Ah, uh, I just got home. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. And I thought since I'm going to be doing this little rant v-blog rant about what's going on. Why don't I just explain what I'm doing? I'm doing this little dog and pony show about coffee e-juice. Uh, for one thing, I believe in e-juice. It helps. It helps you to stop smoking. It's a safer alternative to smoking. I firmly believe that. I've been doing this for about three to four months. And it, it works. It's, it's works it worked better than the patches, it's worked better than the lozenges that I tried, the lozenges, uh, these little things right here I bought from Walmart. These, they help, but they don't, they don't keep you on track. E-juice, my coffee, e-juice in general, this is what works for me, and it works for a lot of people. And I don't want people to get discouraged from using e-juice because of the, the taboo around it. So my little contribution to uh, this particular thing, e-juice and the electronic cigarette, uh, I firmly stand behind. You got, you got all this e-juice that's being sold over the internet and in some stores you don't know how they taste. You can only go by word of mouth. So uh, I've attempted to give my two cents about uh, the taste. The taste which is subjective. The taste is subjective. It's in the mouth of the beholder or whatever analogy you want to say that. But quality isn't. That's why I think a good, honest, e-juice review can be effective to potential buyers, consumers. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm not paid to do this. This is completely uh, my own opinion, my unbiased opinion. If I think it tastes like a bunch of flavorful hot air that doesn't actually match the title it's given, I'm just giving my honest opinion about my overall impression of it. As far as the animations in, um, in my videos, they're very um, unnecessary. <laughs> and, you know, do all this cool imaginative stuff and tell a story at the same time, because I don't want to bore the viewer. I want to give them a little show a little, you know, entertainment. If I'm talking about the history of a particular flavor, like 
the uh, Kona coffee. That would be kind of boring if I was just talking about, if I was just vaping the e-juice and just telling you what I thought of it. That's my contribution, um, the aware awareness of good or bad e-juice. Going back on the cartoons, the animations, they're fun to do, but they're very time consuming. I currently have the time to do it. Uh, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy having an idea and putting it into a visual medium and adding some you know, sound effects to it. And it looks pretty cool and I'm happy with it. I guess my inspiration for the style would be more Monty Python. You, you have an animation with a bottle. It'd be kind of boring if you just did that, but if you make kind of a boing, 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 boing type thing, then it's more interesting. And you're enthralled, you're entertained. Uh, but at the same time, I'm telling you why it's going from point A to point E. I enjoy what I do. If you like my presentations, my uh, reviews, I guess please subscribe and uh, leave a comment, a helpful comment. Um, I'm very tired. <laughs> I've had a busy day. I'm gonna... Oh, I did get this from uh, Philadelphia. It's, it's more like a latte mug. I don't think I'll ever use it. I'll just put it up on my cabinet, but it's nice. It's nice. It's got the Liberty Bell in there. That's about it for now. Thank you for watching and happy vaping.